I'm here with my Dash Mini Griddle, and today I am going to be making a grilled cheese sandwich. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So to make a basic grilled cheese sandwich, you really only need two things. You need bread and you need cheese. Now, some people do also like to add butter to the bread. So I am actually going to add butter to half of the bread and then do the other half without butter. Obviously an issue that we have with the Dash Mini Griddle is the size of it. So if we open this up, we could see that bread is larger than the griddle itself. Now we could do either one of two things. We could take a round cookie cutter and cut a round piece of bread so it will fit perfectly in here. Or what we could do is we could cut the bread in half or if you have um, like a larger square piece of bread, you could actually cut it into four pieces and make just smaller pieces of grilled cheese. Um, so for this one, this is a piece of sourdough bread. I'm actually gonna just cut it in half. So I just cut the bread in half and basically it's gonna be put on the griddle like that. So we do have a nice sandwich. So I'm gonna keep the bottom plain. I'm not gonna put any butter on it. I'm gonna cut my cheese into pieces that will fit on the bread. You can use as much cheese or as little cheese as you like. I'm not really a big cheese fan, so I'm not using that much. And then on this top piece, this is the piece I am going to put butter on. Again, you could put butter on both pieces if you like using butter. You don't have to use any butter. Normally, if I was making this for myself, I would not be adding butter. I would just do like bread and cheese and just be happy with that. But some people do like the added fat or the different texture that the butter gives to the bread. So I'll put that on and then I'm also going to butter the outside. Some people like to butter the outsides. We'll see if it toasts differently with butter or without butter. So the butter I'm using was not softened first. It was a little bit hard to spread. Okay, here's our mini griddle. The blue light went off. That means we're ready to cook. So let's open this up and let's put our grilled cheese sandwich in here. I like to put the cut side toward the hinge and let's close this. I like to push it down a little bit and let's come back in about three minutes. It's been three minutes, so let's check on the sandwich. This is what it looks like. There's some nice browning going on here and the cheese is starting to get melty. What I like to do now is I like to actually turn it around because it will cook quicker uh, on this end where the hinge is just because it's tighter and then the other end is more open. So let's push this down and now let's cook this for another minute. It's been a little more than a minute so let's open this up and see what's going on in here. And now all of the cheese is nice and melted. That's what it looks like on this side. Here's the other side. There's the grilled cheese. The bread is sliding off because the cheese is so melty. The bread on the outside is nice and firm and toasted. So this is the side that had the butter. You can see that it's uh, moister than the other side. This side appears drier. So let's cut this in half and see what's going on. Everything is nicely melted. The cheese is nicely melted. The bread is nicely toasted. So now let's taste this. It's a really good classic grilled cheese sandwich. It only took about four minutes in the Dash mini griddle. Just kind of set it and forget it. And yeah, it's, it's very nicely cooked. The bread is crunchy and toasty and the cheese is melty. And I actually like it with butter only on one piece of bread because I'm not a fan of butter on both slices. It's just too buttery. But with only one slice being buttered, you don't get as much buttery flavor. It's kind of like a little buttery undertone, which is nice. And as we saw from the bread, adding butter to the bread did not affect like how much it toasted or anything like that. It really just adds a little bit more moisture and flavor and fat content. And so that is how you can make a grilled cheese sandwich in a Dash mini griddle. 
I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see what else you can make with a dash mini griddle. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. You can obviously also use any kind of cheese that you like. It doesn't have to be cheddar. That's what I'm using right now. But you can make any kind of cheese that you like.